YouTube, it's Joe 2 here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys try to get at least one of these off-white um, Jordans or Nike shoes. So, I'm not a hype beast. Uh, personally, I do like the Vapor Max ones a lot, but I didn't try to get them because I already knew I was going to take an L. And it's just the way the Nike handles limited releases. It's very dumb. Um, they do all this, like, dumb, they do all this dumb, like, oh, we reserved you, or you get special access. I didn't get any of that. You know what I got? They reserved me a pair of the weeds. I don't want these. These are trash. These are ugly. Okay, I don't want these. They reserved me two pairs, the big kids and the, and the men's. I didn't even click the heart button saying that I like these on the Nike app, and they reserved me these, okay? So, it's, it's retarded. So, here's what I think that Nike should do for limited releases, right? So, you set up a pre-order two weeks in advance. Everybody that wants to get the shoe pre-orders it. It's no like, oh, they're out of stock already. No, none of that. Okay, so you're essentially entering a raffle. But, the only difference is, is that you have to enter your address. And you have to enter your credit card information, right? Or PayPal. And so, Nike has two weeks okay they have a system or something i don't know they could even do employees and they pick each address each address can only give one winner so if somebody's creating a hundred accounts and they're all using the same address only one of them could have the chance of winning right and so you so that makes it that makes it a lot more fair for other people and it doesn't go off of just dumb luck and bots can't get um, and the bots can't ruin it for others and that would also limit resellers from getting a bunch of pairs like that so then on the release day it's real easy all you got to do is check on the sneakers app if you want and it could go two ways it's gonna either automatically charge you or you have a certain amount of time to pay for the shoe so let's just say you have until 3 p.m. Eastern time or, you know, something like that. And then whoever doesn't pay for the shoe, then that those shoe, then, then, my bad, at a random time that day, it just automatically pops up. So that way people with bots aren't as ready. And it's a lot, it sounds, it's, to me, it's in a, it's in a lot more fair process for everybody that wants a chance to get the shoes because if they have a system where it's only one pair for per address then that means that i can't have a chance at getting like 10 of these by using a bot and i just think they would make it a lot fairer for people that you know never really get to get limited shoes i mean i didn't like i said i don't really like any of these i think that they're pretty ugly except for the vapor maxes um but I didn't even try and get them because I know that the app always crashes and there's too many issues with like the credit card and stuff. So I think that that would be like the best method. I can't, if you just enter a raffle, then you can have it entered hundreds of times and you can win multiple pairs of the same shoe. And I think that makes it unfair for others. So that's why I think that that would be like the best method to use. And yeah, and also I think it's pretty shady how Nike's reserving a bunch of people these Wheat 13s. Because um, nobody wants them. Uh, they should have dropped the real Wheat 13s. But anyways, though, yeah, that's just how I feel. Uh, leave a like if you guys agree. Peace.